Another faulty charger, another unhappy customer, and another warranty job that I'm probably not gonna get paid for. So my customer went for the best deal that he could find on the internet, which was getting his Omi charger installed by Octopus. But what he didn't see was in the terms and conditions, it clearly does state that if there is a problem with the charger, then basically it's nothing to do with them and you need to get in touch with Omi and sort it out yourself. And it seems to be a common trait with energy providers that install EV chargers. And I've had this on several occasions now, which is why I felt like I should highlight this to you, that if you get your charger installed by an energy provider, the chances are when things go wrong, they're not gonna help you. Well, that's just maddeningly unhelpful. Why are these things never clear? So since he got a great deal on his install, from day one, there's been problems with the charger, with it not working or the built-in RCD tripping out. And he's got in touch with Octopus and they just said, nothing to do with us. You need to get in touch with Omi. And he's tried to sort this out with Omi and he's had an absolute nightmare. And it's been going on now for 11 months. So what Omi done was they looked at the charger remotely and they basically told him that there was nothing wrong with it. They told him it's probably the charging cable. So he had to go back to MG and buy another charging cable, which cost him 225 pounds. Turns out that wasn't the problem. And then they said to him that it's probably the car that's got the issue. So then he had to drive the car back to where he bought it from and he's moved house. So he had to drive it 200 miles and they told him that there's nothing wrong with the car either. So finally, what he'd done was he found a local installer me to come out and have a look and I identified straight away through my testing that there is a problem with the actual unit itself. I phoned up Omi after a long waiting time I might add, told them that I've tested it, the unit's faulty and then they sent one out straight away. So the cost that my customer has now incurred is the original installed cost, driving to MG, taking time off work to sort that out, buying an additional cable, and then having to pay me to come out, test it, identify the issue, get in touch with Omi, and now we're at the stage where I'm gonna replace the unit on Omi's behalf or Octopus's behalf, either one or all, and try and claim the warranty payment, which if you're an installer and you haven't done warranty jobs, you're gonna learn very quickly that it's a bit of a nightmare getting paid. I'm owed now by three manufacturers for warranty work and none of them seem to want to pay me. And I'm getting to the stage now where I'm just gonna start taking people to court. And with one company, they've owed me money for months and I've documented the whole process of me trying to get my money and I'm gonna make a video on it. So if you wanna see that video and see how it all pans out, subscribe to my channel. So be warned, when you go for that cheap quote with the energy provider, it's the aftercare you're not gonna receive. Unlike if you went with someone like me, who I will sort this all out for you because you as a customer are very important to me and my reputation. Let's get this charger swapped over and take a look at it and see what's going on. So when I originally came to check out this charger, what I discovered is that there's no real install issues with this, as I'll show you in just a second. But basically manufacturers normally aren't gonna take your word for it that it's not working properly because they don't wanna pay someone to come out and have a look. So it just drags on and on and on. Until someone like me phones up and says that I've got my tester plugged in and it's broken. So inside here we can see that the cables they're all failed up, they're all good. And we've got our CT connection in there, which is absolutely fine. It's just a shame that us installers don't have or can't have access to any sort of diagnosis equipment where we can identify what part of it is faulty so we can just replace that. That doesn't seem to be an option. So we're just going down this route of replacing units all the time. As I'll show you now, sun's in my eyes, sorry about that. There's no obvious signs of anything wrong whatsoever, but it's probably this, that's the problem. My customer's also given me a log that he's made over the last fortnight of him charging his vehicle at public charging stations and how much it's cost him in comparison to if he had been able to charge it at home. And I'll put 
a copy of this on the screen here so you can see what I'm talking about. So at the local charging stations, it's ranging from 85p a kilowatt to 63p a kilowatt, whereas at home it would have cost him 7p a kilowatt which is a huge saving. He's also worked out that at 85p a kilowatt, that's actually dearer than filling his car up with diesel. And it's 63p a kilowatt, it's basically breaking even. So without having a home charger that's working, charging your electric vehicle, in this case, proves not to be cheaper than running a petrol diesel car. So if I just work out quickly how much it would have cost him if he was charging his vehicle at home for these four chargers. If he had a working charger at home, the last four chargers would have cost him £8.73. But instead, having to use the public stations, it's cost him £64.13, another cost incurred. I'm just going to run through the commissioning process now on the last charger I couldn't get back into installers mode and that was one of the issues that I had and I'm just holding this here because the sun is on the light so now I'm just going to take my EV adapter and my mega and run through a series of tests to make sure it operates this time And take photos of all my test results so I have a digital copy of all the testing that I've carried out so that's this one tested through fine so what happens now I need to connect this one up with my customers app get it all commissioned that side so he's happy with how everything's working demonstrate that it's working and if you're looking for an EV charger installed with great aftercare give me a call or I'll leave a link in the description below to my website where there's an inquiry form that you can fill out and then we can have a chat. And then the last thing I need to do is try and get paid by Omi, which to be honest, I think there's more chance of me seeing pigs flying. And a little tip for you while I'm here is this plastic cover, just score around it lightly with a knife around the socket. Otherwise you'll never get all the plastic off. like so. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. I just want to say a huge thank you to The Gadget Man for becoming my first channel member. I really do appreciate your support. If you want to join the SOTA team, check out my members area. It is a members area that is going to develop over time, but I'm going to give you special access to behind the scenes footage and other bits and bobs that I hope you'll enjoy. Thanks again.